of my, my this is a hobby horse of mine, it's nothing to do with <laughs> me holding this particular post, uh, which many of you who know me will know. But one of the problems we have is that a lot of people just don't know what councillors do. And so actually it's really hard to um, attract people because their concep conceptual idea of what a councillor does and the reality of it are really different. And I think there's a real danger as well in this world of social media and so on, that people concentrate on some of the negative parts of being an elected politician, which all of us around the table also have experienced, and they don't really get to push the positive bits of it. So, um, forgive me, Chair, but one of the things I do a lot is talk to groups of young women around Wales, and I was doing it in my previous role as well. And the first thing they always ask me is about the abuse you get on social media. And we all get some of that abuse, and, you know, depending on your age and uh, physical appearance and all the rest of it, you get various different levels of abuse. Um, but I always say, well, before I answer that question, I'm going to first tell you why this job is worth having and what you get out of doing it. Because you have to... You have to be able to have both of those things to be able to come to that conclusion. If you start concentrating on the negative stuff, then you never get past that into actually the real, for me anyway, personal and, and uh, political privilege and, and pleasure I get out of doing this job. And I know a lot of councillors who feel that way as well. And when you're encouraging people out in Wales to stand for local elections or stand for national elections, um, their idea of, of what those jobs look like and actually what we know they are are very different. So I think there's a range of things, A, making the jobs more accessible, but B, running a real campaign about what your local councillor can actually do for you in your community and you know what their role on the council is, what the decisions that they can make are, how, what a dramatic impact they have on day-to-day on -day life in your community. And so